Hey love bugs. Happy, what day are we? Happy Thursday, I think it is. Yeah, it's definitely a Thursday. Um, just jumping on to talk about something really, really important. Hold on, let me figure out where to look. So I'm looking at the camera. Okay, there we go. Um, happy Thursday again. I got my head on this afternoon, so I was like, oh, better not waste it. Better jump on and do a live. And I've been wanting to talk about this topic for a while now anyway. So two birds, one stone. We're absolutely killing it. Um, I'm going to title this video something to do, something along the lines of 99% of your manifesting power comes from this one thing. And the reason I wanted to talk about this this afternoon is because until we get this 1% right, until we focus on getting this one thing clear or getting really clear on this one thing, we lose so much of the incredible power that we possess as creative beings, right? So we are all 100% made in the image of our creator, i.e. we have the same creative power that God had when he spoke the universe into existence, right? And so, so many of us forget that. And so many of us forget that the same creative power that created galaxies, the same creative power that spoke stars and planets and whatever else into existence also exists inside of us, right? And in order to activate that, we need to first get clear on what we really want. Second, believe we can have it. And then three, become a vibrational match for it. And so there's three steps all play such a crucial role in making sure that we're um, creating what it is that we want or making sure that we're accessing our full power and creating what it is that we want. But two and three, I feel like we've covered. We've been there, we've done that, we kind of get that. Like um, believing you can have it and becoming a vibrational match for it are like very much second to the first piece of the puzzle, which is what I want to talk about this afternoon. And that is getting clear on what you want. And let me tell you guys, 99% of figuring 99% of creating the life that you want to create or 99% of getting anything that you want is first of all deciding what it is right and I know from personal experience that whenever my manifesting isn't working whenever I feel like I'm banging my head against a wall or just pushing a rock up a hill it's always because I had either a haven't gotten really clear on what I want or B, I don't really want the thing that I think that I want. So a lot of the time what happens is our desires get clouded by other people's opinions, right? So we all know the feeling of going after someone else's dreams or chasing someone else's goals or feeling like we're struggling and pushing and striving so hard for something that we're not even really sure why we want it in the first place. And this has become so apparent to me, especially in the last few months, as everything that no longer serves me is just getting stripped back, stripped back, stripped back. And it's becoming really clear what my desires are, like my true core soul desires are, versus what other people wanted for me or what I thought other people wanted for me. Because there's often a massive gap, right? It's often like, oh, hold on, Amanda just mentioned me in a story. I'm gonna mention Amanda in this story in a second. Just hold tight, hold, stay till the end, and I'll tell you all about that and her beautiful course coming up. But I think for so long, I was caught up in this idea of what I thought everyone else wanted me to do. And that went for what uni degree I should study, what uni I should go to. It went for what city I should live in. It went for who I should date. It went for so many different things. And it wasn't until I started getting, pulling back the layers of other people's expectations and getting really clear on what it was that I really wanted in this life. And I'm still figuring it out, you guys. There are still so many layers that I think have to come down before we can unearth our true desires but that is where our real power lies like you can create you can if you work hard enough you can create whatever it is that you want right if you struggle if you strive if you hustle we all know that feeling of like pulling teeth to get a goal or to accomplish a, an achievement that we've had on our vision board forever but the real true creative power comes when we completely surrender to the natural unfolding of the innermost desires of our heart right write that down if you need to I'm not gonna say it again because I just totally forgot what I said but when we fully tap into that real true soul, those real true soul deep desires, and then completely let go of how it's going to happen. Just focus on those last two steps, believing we can have it, knowing that we're worthy of it, believing that we provide enough value to the world to be, um, that we're of service to the world and therefore we deserve to be compensated or whatever, whatever you need to get your energy behind and your belief behind knowing that you're worthy of having it and then becoming a vibrational match for it. So getting in the feeling of already having it and feeling the feels of what it would be like if you knew 
knew that you were powerful and you knew that um, you'd already created the life that you want. But for me, so much of where I was getting stuck and where I used to get tripped up or where I've still been getting tripped up lately is getting super clear around that first step. And I'm just gonna keep coming back to this because it's so freaking important. What is it that you really, really, truly want? I have it plastered on my vision board now just so I never forget. I look it up, up at it every single day when I'm working and it's just this big fat sign that says, what do you really want? Not what does the world tell you you should want? Not what do, you, do your parents want for you? Not, do, not what do you think other people want for you, if that makes sense. Because the vast majority of the time, they want what's best for you anyway. And if they don't, then they shouldn't be in your life. But and it's like, what is it? When you pull it back, when you strip it all back, when you take it, um, I have garlic on my chin. <laughs> when, you, um, when you take stock of your life and where you wanna be, what is it that is truly going to bring you joy? And that might not look that might not always look the way that you first think it's going to look. It might look completely different from what you originally thought that you wanted. I, and I'm going to tell this story in another video, but I completely took down my entire vision board that I've had up since I was about um, 21, I think, um, at the beginning or the end of last year, the beginning of this year. Hi, Sharon. Hi, beautiful woman. Um, because it didn't resonate with who I was becoming anymore and didn't resonate with who I wanted to be. I realized I just had this massive did a lot of healing work, did a lot of releasing work, and I realized that a lot of the, the goals that I had on there were really superficial goals. They were things that I thought that I should want. They were things that um, the other people in my industry were sort of going for. This is especially like, this isn't just in the corporate world. This is like, especially among entrepreneurs and um, people in the online coaching world and business world. It's like, we see other people. And I think because it is still such like a, um, a new venture and a new journey for a lot of us. We see other people going after things and we think that that's what we should want to because, you know, they, they've they gone to live in Bali, so I should go and live in Bali or this is exactly what happened to me last year. I was supposed to spend the last three months of last year living it up in Bali, got home from LA, went to Hawaii and realized that I did not want to get on another plane for the life of me. Like, God help me if I could get my energy behind actually getting everything together, getting everything organized to go overseas again for another three months like it was just so out like it sounded really good in my head when I was like yeah I'm gonna be in LA and this and this and Bali and whatever and it was what all my other friends are doing it was what so many of my like freedom life type like laptop lifestyle buddies were doing I shouldn't say it like that but it was what um, a lot of people I knew were doing and they were loving it absolutely loving it and still are loving it which is freaking awesome but it took me a while to realize that it wasn't for me and it wasn't my truth and it wasn't my real core desire so I think I used to get caught up in this hole. It's not safe for me to trust my desires because in the past when I've gone down what I like the path of what I thought I wanted, it hasn't worked out or there's been failure at the end of the line or I've just come up against obstacles and obstacles and obstacles on top of obstacles. And pulling it all back now and taking stock now, I've realized that a lot of the time I was going after either what someone else wanted for me or what I thought I should want because of the industry I was in, because of the path that I was going down, because of what other people before me had gone going on to do. It's like, just because everyone in your industry wants to be on Oprah, just because the peak or the pinnacle of your industry looks like being on talk shows and speaking on stage and being on covers of magazines and like running a successful YouTube channel, those things are amazing. If that, those really are the core true desires of your heart, then you'll have them absolutely you'll work for them, you'll surrender to it, you'll you'll tap into that desire and that desire will guide you every single step of the way as long as you continue to follow those inspired actions. But if they're not in true alignment with your heart and soul and if it's not something that's 100% lighting you up, it's really tricky to find the the drive, it's really tricky to find the consistency, it's really tricky to find the will to just keep pushing if it's not something that's in full alignment for you. And you'll know when it's in full alignment because you'll get that click and it's like, I will do whatever it takes to make this happen. And there's been very few, I think this has come up so much for me recently because I'm not the kind of person that will just hustle blindly for anything anymore. I'm so sacred or I'm. it's such a sacred decision for me where I spend my energy and I'm so selective of what I give my energy to and where I focus and direct my like my intention and my my energy and my focus right so for me to actually dedicate my time to something because my time and my money but most importantly my time because I know it's a finite resource my time here on this planet not time in general we all know that's infinite 
but my time on this planet is a finite resource. Money is infinite because I know that I can always make more of it, but time is a finite resource. So I'm so selective and I, I guard my time with my life because it is quite literally such a precious, like the most precious resource that I have to me at this very moment. So where I'm not someone that will just like go for whatever, just for the sake of going for it anymore, I've been there and it didn't serve me at all. Um, so now I have to, like for me, it's about pulling back those layers and getting really clear on, okay, what am I actually going to devote my time to? What would I, um, what would I keep doing even if I didn't see results right away? What would I continue to get up early for, go to bed late for? Um, what would I continue to give up other things for in the service of achieving this one particular goal? And there's so many things, you guys, that don't fit that criteria anymore. And there are so many things that just don't, that just aren't in alignment when I when I put them through that test and when I ask myself those questions. And there's only one thing in particular that's like keeping me or there's a couple of things but one in particular that is really keeping me going right now and it's something that I've really only uncovered quite literally in the last like 24 hours um, but it's something that is so didn't look like what I first thought it would look like but is so near and dear to my heart that I know that I would do I would get up at six o'clock or 5 30 every single morning if I had to I would go to bed at 11 30 12 30 1 32 33 30 every night am every night if I needed to I would do it over and over and over again I would keep working it until it worked to achieve this one particular goal and that for me is when I know that there's alignment there that for me is when I know that there's a soul goal there rather than just like a, a material or a superficial goal or even an ego goal I know that this one particular thing like I would do anything for it and I would do whatever it takes so keep going until you find that goal I promise that everyone has one just keeping in mind that it might not look the way that you thought it would look um, and also just coming back to as well like the goal is a feeling like at the end of the day we don't go for what um, we don't go for the material or the physical or the external or the superficial we go for how they make us feel and so if you could strip it all back what is it that how is it that you really want to feel what is it that you feel like is going to elicit those feelings but most importantly and most specifically how is it that you want to feel but getting so super crystal clear on that you guys and if it doesn't resonate yet don't stress don't make up a story in your head about this isn't for me it's not working like I, I don't have my goal it's not I can't go after anything because I don't have my goal keep going keep going keep going often and I've spoken about this a lot it's like the concentric circles of purpose that will continue falling away like layers of an onion again and again and again until we get to the core and the heart of it and what really matters and sometimes well, all the time we have to go through those layers before we get to the core it's not a matter of cutting straight through to the center of the circle Purpose, even though I know most of us myself included would be able would love to be able to do that sometimes it really is such a journey of unfolding and peeling back and really um, letting it unravel and surrendering to the process of unfolding so that you can get to the core of what really matters um, and get to the core of what it is that you want but keep going until you get there because that's when we access that otherworldly drive that otherworldly passion that otherworldly fire that otherworldly energy <coughs> excuse me, that otherworldly persistence and consistency that is so key to success in absolutely anything we do in life. That's when we access that. And that's not just available to some, it's available to all of us all of the time. It's just about unlocking what is it within you that is going to create that desire, um, that is going to create that consistency to move you forward and give you that momentum to keep going towards your goals. So if you haven't found it yet, keep searching. I promise it's there. Or rather than keep searching, maybe stop searching and just focus on what makes you really freaking happy. Look at your vision board. If you had to take down everything but one thing on your vision board, what would it be? And I want you to go through all of your goals tonight and take them through that criteria and that checklist. Is this what I really want? Um, what is this what someone else is want, wants for me? Is this what... Um, is this what like someone else is expecting me to do? Is this what I'm just doing because everyone else has told me that that's what I should want or that's what I should do? Go and take them, like take all your goals through that checklist and that criteria and it'll help you get to the core of what it is that you really want. But if there's something in your life that you feel like you're going after and it feels, it feels like icky or it feels hard or it feels like you've been going for a really long time and you're just stuck, 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 sometimes that's just a normal part of like desire and a normal part of like achieving goals. Often that will be countered just by 
going inward for a little while, shaking the energy up a little bit and the inspired action and that desire will come back. But if it's something where you feel like there's just zero desire there anymore, like the, the spark is gone, the oomph is gone, you don't even know why you're going after it anymore, really get honest with yourself, okay? Um, ask yourself, why don't I want it? First of all, massive thing that comes up. You'll either then be able to clear some fears you have around getting it or realize that it wasn't maybe your goal all along. Um, but then also like, what do I really want? That's just a massive question that you can keep asking. So go through your vision board tonight, go through your goals list tonight. And if you had to take everything else off, but your that one thing, what would it be? And why is it important to you? What and why? Let me know in the comments below. All right, chickens. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here live with me. And um, yeah, I can't wait to chat to you soon. Happy Thursday and happy goal setting. Mwah. Bye honeys.